Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance and I have a new tool to share with you today. I purchased this at Harbor Freight. I don't buy a lot of tools there. I'm not opposed to buying tools from there. I know some people wouldn't buy a single tool from them. But this is their Icon brand, which is considered their top quality brand. This is the first Icon tool of theirs that I've purchased. Um, it is the RXFT-35. It is a quarter inch locking flex head and ratchet bit set. It's a 35 piece set and their store item number is 58074. They compare it to the FACOM or FACOM, I'm not sure how you say it, and they say that it is a savings of $85, which I did look up that tool on the, the only place I could find it was eBay, and it was around $130, and this is $39.99. Uh, but I purchased this because I was searching for Vera or Vera bit checks. I've had several of you mention those to me, uh, and you say I could get a lot of use out of those, and I really appreciate when y'all recommend tools because as soon as I see that in a comment, I Google things, I start looking at it. I love looking at tools and the details of them and think about how I could use them. So I was just doing some searching around on those, and I came across this, and it's a fairly new tool. In fact, none of the Harbor Freights in my area had it. I had to ship it to my house, and I saw some functions in this that I think are going to be extremely useful for me. And I'm going to put it in my TP4B. As I've mentioned in my loadout, that's my go bag. I try to keep it light, keep the least amount of tools in it as possible, but I try to keep the most amount of functions in those tools so that I can still get the job done. And in that bag in the bottom, I keep these Makita sockets, a standard and metric. And then in the front pocket, I kept a quarter inch Craftsman ratchet. Uh, that way I have the ability to put those sockets on this ratchet. I can put them on my impact. I can put them in a screwdriver. All those functions I gain with that. Now I have since switched this Craftsman ratchet because it's just a ratchet with the Klein Tools little ratchet because I can take this adapter and take it out and put a driver bit in it and then that gives me kind of a stubby as well. But then I started looking into this ratchet and at face value, you know, it's the ratchet part is... Not a lot different than this Klein Tools as far as functions. I, I can put the socket adapter that comes with it in here. I can put any of these quarter inch sockets on that. I can put any of these driver bits in there if I want to, and it comes with 32 of those. Uh, here's the bits that are included with that that are Torx, slotted, Phillips, hex, and poly drive. You can pause that if you want to see the individual bits, but you don't have to use these bits. You can use any bit you want to. It's no different than anything else. You know, you can put a, any quarter inch bit in there. There's a Milwaukee, I've tried the DeWalt's, all those things. So really for 39 bucks compared to 14.99, all I would be getting was some bits and things, but not any more functions. But there's several more that are included in this that are gonna be so beneficial to me in many places. It starts out with this flexing head. It's a locking flexing head. It's got this button that you can depress. The head adjusts and locks into different places. It goes all the way from 90 to the other 90. And I think I counted a total number of 12 clicks in there whenever I counted through it. So where that's going to help me is if I've got something that's in a spot that's up against a wall or in a cabinet, sometimes my big fat fingers get in the way. Well, now I can just press that button and adjust that head and get my fingers out of the way and away from that wall or whatever it is and I'm no longer having them rub up against it. So now that's a function I'm gonna gain with this is just more access. I can get into some places that I wouldn't be able to get into with the other ones. And then another thing is that the bottom side of this ratchet is a quarter inch bit holder as well and it's magnetized. See if you can hear that, hear that click. Uh, so now I can store another bit in there if I want to. So if there's two bits that I use all the time, or maybe I put the socket adapter in here and then whatever the other bit is that I wanna use, and I wanna just store it like that, uh, then I'm able to just swap back and forth easily. I don't have to open this up and get out different bits all the time, and I can use that for that. So we've got functionality of the flex head, more storage, but then where it really starts to shine is in this extension. It is also a bit holder, so I can still put that bit in there. But then it also fits inside of this ratchet. And it fits in there magnetically as well. It will stay. It pulls out remotely easily. But that gives me two more functions. Now I've got leverage because now I have an 8-inch ratchet instead of the smaller ratchet. And it also gives me reach. 
I can get in somewhere that I might not have could have been able to get into before, or I can even move my hand out even farther away by flexing that head if I'm still close to the wall without this extension. Uh, so again, some more functions that I'm gaining is that I can do all those things. Now, if I was gonna use this for reach, I'm probably gonna take some electrical tape and kind of tie these two together if I'm in a tight spot, because if I'm pulling it back out, that might would come out. I would only do that if that was somewhere where this is gonna fall, that would be hard to access. But now on top of all this with this extension, it doesn't stop there. I can take out this bit and this extension also has this little notch on it. And that's what makes it different to what, from anything else, any of your other bit drivers that you might have. And if I line up that notch with this white dot, whether it's on this side or whether it's on that side, it will now slide into the uh, ratchet itself. So now I've got an extension this way that I can put back at this point or I can extend it out to there and get into a deeper space with the ratchet in this position. But I can also leave it like that, take my bit, move it down into the handle, and now I've got a T-handle. Again, I could put the sockets on here, any of these bits, any other bit that I have, and I'm able to get more leverage this way if I need to as well. So I've gained a T-handle, I've gained longer reach, I've gained the locking flex head, I've gained more leverage, all that just by taking these two and I'm gonna put them in my front pouch. I probably won't carry all these bits with me because I carry the bits in my 14 and one handle of my flip socket and my super screwdriver. Although I will say this case is super nice. It's got a really nice feel to it and I'm pretty torn now that I have it in my hands whether or not I wanna keep it all together and just throw this in the bottom of my MCT. And I may end up doing that in the long term, but short term, I'm putting this into my TP4B and seeing what all I can get done with this. Again, I think it's gonna be extremely useful for me because I've now gained all those functions I mentioned with sockets, driver bits. I can also take my three inch flip socket handle and I can stick it into here. Now this won't pass through like that extension again because I don't have that notch on it. But now I can have my magnetic nut drivers in, this, in the ratchet like this or I can get out my whole entire screwdriver and gain these other sizes as well. So I have standard sockets, some magnetic sockets, all my driver bits, and all these functions that I gain out of this Harbor Freight Icon 35 piece locking flex head and ratchet set. So I think that it's a good tool. Uh, again, it's got a lifetime warranty. I, I haven't had any other Icon tools, so I don't know how well, at last, it's got a nice feel to it. Uh, it's, it's pretty much about the same weight as this Klein Tools one, uh, but lifetime warranty. So if it breaks, I can just take it back in there and get another one. And I think that even applies to these bits. I'm not sure about that. Again, I haven't really uh, turned in a lot of warranty stuff at Harbor Freight to know exactly how it works. So you might want to check with your store clerk on that. But I think it's a great tool. I think it's going to be very useful to me. And I think it might could be useful to you too. But you let me know by commenting down below what you think about it. Also let me know if you've got it, uh, what you think about it. Or if you've got something else that you know of that has the similar features or something else that I could use that works kind of in these ways. Again, I really love tool suggestions. Put those down in the comments below. But I hope that this was useful to you. I hope that you stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.